What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name's Lloyd. Today we're gonna to be talking about a subject that a lot of you guys have requested that I talk about and that's conversation topics to talk about with a girl that you like. Now, in, on this channel, I talk very frequently that it's not so much what you say, it's how you say it. However, I understand that a lot of you guys, when you're talking to a girl that you really like, you start drawing a blank, you're worried about the topics that aren't going to be interesting to her. So don't worry. In this video, I'm going to be giving you the conversation topics that I like to use that typically lead to a very engaging conversation, not just the average conversation she's going to have with some random dude at a bar. This is going to be something that she's going to remember, and as a result, she's She's gonna remember you. Okay, so before I get into this, <laughs> I am super excited uh, to share with you guys that I'm gonna be finally releasing a product soon um, on how to approach women. Uh, and so if you wanna get notified about this product, it's gonna have uh, tons of stuff that I can't share on YouTube, like infield footage. Uh, so if you wanna be notified about that, there is a link in the description below. Click that link uh, and you'll be notified about it. Okay, so let's get into the video. I'm gonna be covering the conversation topics that I use and how to use these so you're not just having that average, uh, you know, friend to friend conversation. You're having a man to woman conversation. First topic is an observation. Observational stuff is usually what I lead with when I'm starting the conversation. Okay, so if I notice something about her, maybe she's wearing like uh, a college sweatshirt. Okay, maybe I'll bring that up if she has like a USC sweatshirt or something like that. Um, I'll, maybe she has a certain style about herself. Uh, maybe she has a very positive energy. I don't know. You can talk about this in terms of an observation. Uh, you can it can lead into a compliment, but also I like to do it very frequently while I'm talking to the girl, like after we've already started talking. I'll say, hey, you know, you seem to have a really like bubble energy about you. You seem like a natural extrovert. Uh, and then we can talk about like extroversion versus introversion. You know, neither one is good or bad. There's positives and negatives to both. But people enjoy talking about them. And I think everybody has a little bit um, of that in them. You know, everybody's a little bit of extroversion, a little bit of introversion. So it makes for a very interesting conversation. Um, and I find that that's something that you can really lead with. So observation is really great. Now, if you can't think of an observation, um, I would turn to one of the five questions that I ask every girl when I'm out. So if you haven't seen that video, I would highly recommend that you check that out because not only am I giving, giving you five questions that you can ask at any point in time if you can't think of anything to ask, I actually give you nine questions in there that are really good to turn to, uh, which actually segues nicely into the second conversation topic, which is kind of one of the five questions, and that's location. I talk about about location a lot when I'm talking to a girl because typically everyone who's grown up somewhere is in maybe someplace different or maybe in the same area. Location is a huge part of our lives and it's not a judgmental place either. So if they've traveled to different areas, you can ask them about that. You can ask them where they're from. You can ask them where they like to go. All of those things are really great conversation topics to have with somebody. You know, I travel a lot in my life. So I love hearing about where people have traveled, they've lived, um, or, or if they're a younger person and they haven't traveled to a whole lot of places, maybe where they'd like to go in the future. Okay, so that's a great conversation topic that I like to turn to. Now, if you're a person who hasn't really traveled all that much, that's fine. I think one of these next conversation topics are gonna be really great for you though. Uh, and the third one is hobbies. Hobbies are really great. Now, typically the way I ask that question is I ask, so tell me, what do you like to do for fun? Um, and this is kind of getting a little bit below the surface of what typically people talk about when they first meet. Maybe she likes to go climbing. Maybe she's like, she likes to uh, do improv. Maybe she likes to, to play a sport or something like that. Um, or maybe she's really into certain kinds of art or music or whatever it is. This is really how you get to know a person uh, and the stuff that they like to do. And I like to talk about my hobbies too. I have a lot of things that I enjoy doing in my spare time, um, <laughs> what spare time I have. Um, and I like to talk about them as well too. Um, now typically if you're having trouble uh, talking about this with a person, they're having trouble coming up with ideas, um, either this can mean a couple things, either they're just not that into you and they don't want to talk, uh, which is fine, just move on to someone who will want to talk to you about this stuff, or, or maybe they need a little bit of help coming up with stuff. So if they need a little bit of help, maybe you start with the stuff that you like to do, um, and even if they really don't have that many hobbies, they'll usually make something up <laughs> if they really like you, okay, or if they really enjoy the conversation. Okay, so we've just dipped a little bit below the surface, so even deeper below the surface um, for the final conversation topic that I like to use, which is dreams and aspirations. 
Typically, if someone is talking about their dreams and aspirations with me, this is not your average conversation. This is something that we're, we're getting deep here. Like we're talking about cool shit that they like to do or they would like to do in the future. I'm a really aspirational kind of guy. I have dreams, I have stuff that, they, that I wanna do and I enjoy sharing them with people because it shows them that I'm a motivated person. I'm a person with goals. Women like this kind of guy over a guy who doesn't have goals or aspirations. Um, and I'm looking for like-minded people like myself too who are into that stuff uh, as well. So not only do I get to learn a lot about this person, but they get to learn a lot about me, something that a typical person probably wouldn't realize. Now again, if they're having trouble coming up with ideas, they might not be that into you, but I would lead with stuff that you like to do first, and if they really like you, even if they don't have any big dreams or aspirations, <laughs> they'll usually make something up. Okay, so uh, those are the conversation topics. However, I'm not done yet because typically the way people talk about this, sometimes they can get it wrong. Um, and the way that you wanna talk about it is you wanna talk about it in a really playful, fun manner. Like be more curious as opposed to judgmental. Now, if you, if you judge their dreams and aspirations or their hobbies, they're probably not gonna like you very much. So yeah, come at it from a curious standpoint. Um, have a smile on your face. If you have the opportunity to playfully tease them, not about what they wanna do, but something that's, you know, they're not gonna get offended about, um, I would highly recommend that you do that because that's how you get the fun playful vibes going if it feels like an interview or if it feels like um, you know you're giving career advice or something like that sometimes maybe career advice could I can see how that could turn into flirting a little bit but typically you want to be more playful and fun um, if especially if you're in a social environment so I've done this plenty of times with uh, girls that I've dated uh, it's a really a way that I get to know them when I first start talking to them I typically think that you should spend more time paying attention to people's actions um, but this is probably the best that you can get uh, when you're doing a conversation with somebody, um, the way you can learn the most about them and really have fun uh, with them. And if you do this right, dude, like when I do this right, I actually did this um, a few months ago with um, a girl that I was seeing for a little bit. And when we first started talking, it was basically that, you know, I talked about where she's from, where she'd like to go to. I observed that she seemed like a very um, kind of talkative person, so she was very uh, extroverted. We talked about that. We talked about what she'd like to do in her spare time. She really enjoys doing yoga, and she's really into mindfulness and meditation, so we, we talked about that stuff. Um, and then we talked about her dreams and aspirations and things like that, and that's where we really connected. And pretty soon we picked our heads up um, and it already like 45 minutes had passed and like all of her friends had left and all of this stuff. Um, so I would love for that to happen to you guys. If you really get into the conversation, you kind of like lose track of everything um, and, and really enjoy the interaction with the person that you're having. Okay, cool. Uh, so that's it, you guys. If you made it to then consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. I have a couple spots opening up with my mentorship program. So if you wanna get coached by me personally, one-on-one, -on -one, then follow the link in the description below and uh, fill out the form and we'll get back to you. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.